Today, we will show you how you can dynamically change the options of an Insight Object field depending on a previous Insight Object field selection. Please stay tuned for the full tutorial. Welcome to Ellie Solutions for a new Jira tutorial. Today we'll be creating Insight Object custom fields that are linked to each other and display them in the portal. When a business unit field is selected in the portal, we will only display the associated programs. Right now we are showing you the Portfolio Project Management Object Schema, which contains a collection of business unit objects and their associated programs. You can see that we have six different business units at the parent level. In the program object you can see various attributes such as the name, the business unit that the program is linked to, and its status. We'll focus on the business unit attribute. The business performance management object is tied to the Koji Co Communications Inc. business unit. If we go to the BZL program, the object is tied to the BreezeLine business unit. Let's now go ahead and create the custom fields. Go to the admin configuration options and access the custom field settings. Click on Create Custom Field. Look for the Insight Object Custom Field under the Advanced Options. Name the custom field, Insight BU. Let's add the custom field to the Demo Service Desk screens. Now, we will look for the field we just created and configure it. Click on the ellipses and select contexts and default value. Click on the Edit Insight Objects field configuration. Select the Insight Object schema, which is the Project Management Portfolio schema. For the filter scope you will enter the object type equals to business unit in quotes. This is the Insight query language being used. For the attribute filtering options we will select label, which is the name of the object. Save the configuration. Ensure you remember the custom field ID number as we will use it to link it to the child object. In this case it's 10508. Let's now create the child insight object custom field. Name the custom field insight program. We will add the field to the demo service desk screens. Let's look for the newly created custom field and update its configuration. For the object schema, it will be the same project portfolio management. For the filter scope, enter object type equals to program. The key is to set the filter issue scope. In here we enter the business unit attribute and the placeholder custom field ID that holds the business unit information. Enter the dollar sign and in curly brackets the custom field number of the business unit. In our example, it would be custom field ID 10508. Now when a specific business unit is selected, only the associated programs will be displayed. For the attribute filtering, we will select label. Save the configuration. Let's now go back to the demo service desk and apply the new custom fields.
Let's select the computer support request type. Select the request form tab and click on the add a field button. Select the two insight fields that we just created. Let's now go to the portal and validate the implementation. From the portal go to General Requests, select Computer Support and populate the required field. Now for the Business Unit field, select BreezeLine. When we go to the Program field, you can see that we have the BZL Program option. Let's update the Business Unit with another option. As you can see the Program options have changed. When we change the Business Unit options we can see that all the Program options dynamically change. Let's submit the ticket now. As you can see the ticket is created and the insight fields are correctly populated. And that's how you can dynamically link insight object custom fields. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified of new Jira tutorials.